vertex, edge and face of a solid shape. As learned in the earlier section of this lesson, we know that faces are polygons forming a polyhedron are known as its faces, edges, line segments common to intersecting faces of a polyhedron are known as its edges, vertices, points of intersection of edges of a polyhedron are known as its vertices. Let us observe the table on the screen. Faces, vertices and edges are listed for every 3D figure. We can notice that number of edges is equal to number of faces plus number of vertices minus 2. Nets of solid figures What is meant by the net of a solid shape? A net is a two-dimensional shape that can be folded to form a three-dimensional shape or a solid. We can also say a net is a pattern made when the surface of a three-dimensional figure is laid out flat showing each face of the figure. Construction of a net of a cube You can do this activity first before proceeding to the next part of the lesson. Take a cheese cube box and cut it out along the edges to make the net for a cube. A cube is a three-dimensional figure with six equal square faces. Observe the figure given on the screen. Construction of a net of a cube can be understood with the following steps. Let us take 1 cm cube as shown on the screen. We know that there are 6 faces in a cube which are equal in dimension. 1. Take a graph sheet and draw a square of 1 cm side considering the base of the cube. 2. Since the dimensions of all the faces of the cube are same, we will take the front face, back and top into consideration and draw these squares like this. 3. Now consider the left and the right face of the cube and draw these on two sides of the first square. 4. Now cut the graph sheet along the boundary line. 5. The net of a cube is ready. This two-dimensional pattern of a three-dimensional figure can be folded to form the cube. Let us prepare a net for a hexagonal prism by following the steps as below. Step 1. Take a hexagonal paper prism as shown on the screen. Step 2. Trace the base of the prism in a paper as shown. Step 3. Turn the prism to its edges and trace one of its sides as shown. Step 4. We know that a hexagonal prism has 8 rectangular sides and 2 bases in the shape of a hexagon. So, trace 8 sides on the paper as shown. Step 5. Cut out the net, fold and tape it to make a copy of the solid shape as shown. Let us observe some solid shapes and its nets in the table shown on the screen. Cube Let us cut this paper cube in the corners and flatten it. We will get a net as shown. Cuboid Let us cut this paper cuboid in the corners and flatten it. We will get a net as shown. Cone Let us cut this paper cone in the corners and flatten it. We will get a net as shown. Cylinder As we know cylinder has two bases in the shape of a circle. Trace and cut the two circle and keep it aside. Now cut the cylinder by its edge and flatten 
to get the net as shown on the figure. Triangular prism The base is in the shape of a rectangle and the sides are two triangles and two rectangles. Cut the top edge and flatten it. The net of this prism is ready. Tetrahedron It has three triangles on its sides and one base triangle. Cut the paper model of this pyramid along one of its side till the vertex. Flatten it to get the net as shown. Square based pyramid It has four triangles as its sides and one base square. Cut the paper model from one of the vertex of the base till the apex. Flatten it to see the net as shown on the screen. Nets are a very interesting and creative part of geometry. A same shape can have different nets. For example, a cube has 11 different types of nets as shown on the screen. Nets are used to understand and find surface area or volume of a 3D figure easily.